and welcome to Dapper Drams, where we taste and review whiskey to try to determine if the dram in our glass is indeed a Dapper Dram. Well, with the government telling everyone to stay at home and practice social distancing, I decided I'm not going to take any chances. I'm shacked up here in the bunker, and I don't have any plans to leave. I stocked up on all the essentials, whiskey, toilet paper, Lysol, Doritos, and Hot Pockets. What else could a guy need, right? I've got an air and water filtration system, solar and wind power, three generators. I don't need to go anywhere. First up on the bunker reviews is the Ardbeg Kelpie, the 2017 Ardbeg Day release. It is bottled at 46% ABV, it's natural color, and it's non-chill filtered. The Kelpie gets its name from the uh, creature of Gaelic folklore of the same name, the Kelpie. And it is a black horse-like creature that dwells in the lochs of Scotland and would devour any hapless creature that happened to wander too close. The Loch Ness Monster is one example of a Kelpie, probably the most famous or infamous, if you will, of any Kelpie. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh, huh. oh, it's Jerry calling. He's uh, trying to get the access codes into the bunker. I'm not letting him in here. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, you need to uh, stop calling. I'm uh, I'm telling you for the last time, you're not coming in here. No, I don't care. No, I warned you this would happen, and you decided to play the grasshopper instead of the ant, and now you're just going to have to deal with it. Well, go to your mom's house. She's got plenty of supplies. Sorry, Jerry, but you're not coming in here and compromising my bunker's integrity. Goodbye, Jerry. Call me when you get to your mom's house. Sorry about that. Now, let's get on to the whiskey, shall we? Mmm, it's that big Ardbeg peat smoke that you would expect. But it's also quite sweet. Yeah, much sweeter than the, uh, than the 10-year-old. A little tart, but sweet tart, like lemon cakes. Mmm, buttery blueberry muffins. Mmm, it's got your typical art bag, ashiness, tar, soot type of uh, a feel to it. But also, plenty of fresh fruits, like apples and pears and apricots. Your more savory notes like tobacco and leather. And it's also quite briny, um, like seaweed. Really great stuff. Not terribly complex on the nose, but thoroughly enjoyable. All right, on to the palate. Yeah, it's uh, smoky sweet. And even at 46%, it's very easy and gentle. Smooth, if you will. I know that's not a term that us whiskey guys like to use too often, but it is. It's got that enveloping Ardbeg peat smoke, ashes, seashore. Hmm. Rich peppery oak. Some licorice, more of those lemon cakes, wood spice, uh, clove and ginger mostly, just a tad more. Vanilla cream, custardy, salted caramels, and some chocolate. This is really quite good, and it's sad since this is only a limited release and uh, it's going to be pretty difficult to find these days considering it was a 2017 release there's probably none left on shelves but if you can't find one for about 110 bucks you can have one yourself and i would recommend it as far as the score goes for this 2017 ardbeg day release the kelpie i'm going to score it a 38 out of 41 hazmat suits and the question of the day, as always, is this a dapper dram? Well, absolutely it is. It's got great flavors, even though not terribly complex when compared to other art bags, it still gets wonderful marks. And I absolutely adore this one. It's going to be sad when it's gone. 
Well, if you would like to read the full review of the Ardbeg Kelpie, head on over to distiller.com and search the username generously underscore Paul, and there you can read this and all of my reviews. Oh, uh, oh boy, Jerry calling back again. Hi, Jerry. Did you make it to your mom's house already? It was fast. What? No. No, don't even think about it, Jerry. Get away from that control panel. You do not know what you are doing. Do not cut those wires, Jerry. Jerry! I gotta go before Jerry compromises my bunker. We'll see you next time on Dapper Drams. I gotta go.